so welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm gonna be walking you through on how to create this kind of pipe network it looks very complex but it's very simple to build i'm gonna be showing you how i made it it's, it's all about building connectors like this and like this one here that looks like a cross and here so some of these ones here so it's it's quite an easy process to do but uh, it looks very complicated when you look at it so don't let that scare you so let's get into Maya and get started so here in Maya I, I, there are several ways people do it uh, I just have my own preferred way but I'm gonna show you some of the ways that I really don't like to use and uh, that is using the cylinder most people would just use cylinder in building pipes and connectors like that but it, anyway it makes sense because uh, uh, cyl uh pipes are just cylinders and all that so to use cylinder how people would normally would do, do it is they will uh, let's say let's increase this to five and uh, increase this one to like let's say 20 okay and here we can add some subdivisions first of all let's reduce the resolution here to like 12 or something is fine and increase this subdivision so that we can have enough resolution to to bend it so let's make it like 12 and uh, to build this um, we can just apply a deformer to it and we can use non-linear and bent deformer now if you press 4 you can see that the deformer inside here and uh, we can just adjust the curvature and uh, we get a nice bend like that let's go back to a shaded mode here we want to keep it at 45 and that's because if we let's delete the history so that Now, if you go to like front view here and uh, we rotate this to like 45 degrees, you can see we have our connector. So our pipe can go in that way or and this way as well. So what we can do is we just want to delete the, the bottom caps here. Delete. And if we go back to, to the perspective view here, we can see that we have a nice connector here right now. And we can just add the, is it flap or something? What did I call it? Where we can maybe is hold it with a screw. Let's increase it to like two and extrude again maybe make it minus one and extrude again and also make it like minus two so we have the same here and now we can insert some it loops to to hold the edges so they will be nice and tight there let's do the same here See, when we smooth it, we will have our nice connector, like so. Very good. So let's build another one, something like uh, 
e for example if we go back to our reference you can see we have something like that going this way and connecting these two pipes here so let's try to do that go back to the cylinder and make it like five and make this one 20. let's reduce this one to 12 and uh, maybe we can do without uh, the subdivision to the height so what we can do here is we can just delete those top faces and we can duplicate this one now and then rotate it to join it okay so now this is where we are gonna have some issues if we try to see you can you can go ahead and combine it like this like so and if you smooth it we have a perfect it's fine like this but you can see that inside here is a kind of not really um good looking if you really want some detailed models so you might have this issue but you can as well cut it out by using going through the boolean operations or union or difference which i don't like to use so you can use it like this if you want to but let me show you the preferred way that i like to build this kind of stuff so let's keep this aside and uh, generally i prefer using um boxes so for this one what we can do is we give it n and here also let's give it the height make it 30 and that it has to be the same 30 as well and for the subdivision in height we give make it three now this way we can from here and as well let's make it so what we can do now is select this and that and we can delete it so now we can just smooth this or we can first of all let me uh, duplicate this one and if you want you can tighten this um, just tighten it a little bit yeah like so so then when you smooth it we have a nicer um, flow there connection or there's another way you can do it you can as well like um, bevel it and take it all the way and in this segment here we make it two so this way we have a more a more perfect um, circle there but you have to come in and clean up some of these things here like this one we can go to mesh tool yeah. so edit mesh and merge to center like that and then here you press g to repeat that command g so you go around and do the same thing 
here g g like that It might seem time consuming, but I prefer to do it this way because it gives me more control of what I want. So here, G. So, um, I think I have a few more to go. And for this one, This one as well. When selecting, you, you, you have to make sure that you're not selecting the vertex uh, that is not, that is the, the other side of the mesh. So that you need to bear in mind. At this point, you can press three to see how it's going. See, we have one more here to go. Then press G. You can see this one looks a lot better than this one. So this is the way I prefer to do mine, my uh, connectors. So what we can do now, this one, I'm just gonna get rid of it. If you want something quick and style and easy, you can use that, but I prefer to do it this way. So what we can do right now is we just select these edges and go to extrude, make it two and extrude again, make it minus one and extrude again and make it minus two then we go ahead and uh, insert our edge loops to hold it and put one right there one here one here here Yeah. Like so. So if we smooth it here, there you go with our connector. So let's keep that aside. And uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. 
that's not what I want. So let's try to build a few more. Our box again. And this one, let's make it us 10. So for this one, increase it like so. And I'm just going to remove this face here and select this one I select that one go back to my bevel tool and increase it all the way then increase our segment here and don't forget to merge this here because we have okay the merge tool here you can also find it here merge so right now we cannot extrude this one but make sure you extrude it has to be 10 this way we will have a nice square that can give us uh, a perfect circle and we so what we need to do now is select that one select this edge that edge that edge you extrude it all the way and then segment make it two and once once again you go to vertex select all then click merge so we don't have uh, sharp corners there and what we can do now is create um, the screw uh, the, the flap for the screw so let's make it two and extrude again make it minus one extrude again and make it also minus two like so and then we can insert our edge loops to hold the edges tight there right there this one here And we can do the same here, there, here. And like so. So when we smooth it, we have our nice connect to there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause the video and uh, probably make uh one or two more and then i'll be right back so welcome back um this is this is uh what i've done this is the the tea that we made and what i did is i added some edge edge loops here to make it tighter and then I also created this one that looks like it, a cross. And uh, I made this long pipe, which is going to be what we're going to use to extend all the, all the pipes. So this is pretty much what we need to start building our um, pipe network. And let me just put them aside here and bring our reference again so to build it is quite easy what we need to start doing now is start joining them maybe let's start with this this one right here so what we can do now is start creating this network here that way going that way you know so let's see how we can get that started let's bring this one in bring it here and rotate it so it's that way one thing i must mention is that when you're rotating you need to make sure you are doing it at the increment of 90 degrees which is maybe either 90 or 180 or something like that so you have straight straight lines so for this one that one is fine what we can do bring this one 
and we rotate it minus 90 degrees and join it here let's push that one away press f to frame it and you can like so Okay, and we can duplicate this one and bring it somewhere around here. Something like that. You don't have to make them touch. I think we can have some little space there which will create some nice shadows that will add more realism to it something like this is fine what we can do to this one is to uh, increase extend it a little bit maybe around that And we'll bring in this one. And rotate it. And move it. Rotate it that way. something like that and then once again we can duplicate this one and move it that way and we can take this one and duplicate it once again rotate it like so put it there press f to frame it let's duplicate it once again and then Join these two. And join this one. I think this one again we can use it again right here and bring it a little bit forward
can see our our pipe network is you know it's getting there let's look at the reference again see that one is right there and going this way and another one coming up here and going like that we can do the same let's see this one coming up here and going up that way so what we can do is we take this one put it there We can reduce it. Like so. And then we can bring in this one. Take it there. can see everything is is you know is, is taking shape right now so what we can do is i'm just gonna pause the video and uh, complete the whole network and then i will be back there's nothing else you know it's just a, it's all about uh joining and moving things around there's not nothing else to do so what i'm gonna do is i will go ahead and complete this network and then i'll be back So um, this is what I've done. So I've completed the, the the pipe network. So this is I've added this this one here to like end it to make it look as if we're maybe a a, a supply. Um, tanker can add some chemical or oil or something like that to the processing plant and then I've added a, a tank here just to make it more interesting okay and this is like a simple wheel you know just to make the, the tank look a little bit more interesting and here you can see how I made this one and added use this one here to rotate it and something going that way and here as well I'm extending this pipe away like likewise this one make it as if there is some processing going on around there and this one going to the ceiling maybe waste kind of waste uh, disposal in the air or something like that and this one going through the wall maybe there's another kind of a supply source around there and these pipes i send them in there hidden here to make add some mystery maybe as if something is going on there actually there's nothing and again i've also added these small these smaller pipes here just to make it more interesting so we don't just have or only big pipes and stuff like that so you can see you can follow along with mine like this this is how it is this one going all the way that way and going inside there 
and this one coming maybe a supply source coming in to the tank here and maybe another one coming in supplying coming together as well and here it's either is going out or and another one here you can see it goes that way and here and then going over there and this one come in i mean it's just it's just to create a network of pipes nothing too special so what we can do right now is give it a material because apart from this wall the whole the whole uh pipes here we have the same material so what we can do is select the whole thing and shift select this one and we can just right click and apply ai standard surface let's go to the attribute let's name it something like pipe material and what we can do is we can use a preset we just click here and go to brush metal and click re replace and for this wall let's also give it a standard surface material but for this one we can just just make it white we don't want too much reflection we can increase it like that and i think we'll be ready to render so what we can do now is to let, let me set my um render settings here we're gonna be using uh, hd 1080 and here we can increase our anti-aliasing to like six and diffuse let's make it something like four and specular let's make it four we don't have anything transparent in the scene so we can remove that we don't have any surface subsurface scattering we can also remove that one let's go to ray trace here and increase a secondary light bounce i think this will be fine for now let's us uh the resolution gate here and we can i'm gonna increase this a little bit to cover the whole of that wall and make it taller okay so i'm just gonna set it this way i want to make sure that pipe there is cutting because i don't want it showing so And this one. I think something like this will be fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is. We're going to add that we don't have any light in the scene. So we go to Arnold lights and use the sky dome light. Let's go to the attribute here and uh, apply a high dynamic range image to it. This is what I'm going to use. And now we are ready to render. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click uh, start my rendering and pause the video and then I'll be back when the render is finished.
Okay, welcome back. This is how my came out. You can, I don't know how yours is came out if you're following along. So this is how my came out. Um, if you followed along with me, you can post your the results in the Facebook group that I'm gonna put the link in the comment below so that we can see. I'd like to see how yours came out if you did something different or you followed exactly what i did so you can post it in the in the group so we we all can check and maybe grow that community and please uh, try to subscribe to my channel and if you have any question or something you don't understand you can ask me in the comment below i will i read all the comments and i also respond so um if you have any other concern or any question or if you have any request for any kind of video you want me to make please let me know in the comment below and i will try to uh, release videos as often as possible so that is how you do you create a pipe network like this you can see it wasn't a, a difficult thing to do it's very simple all right so um i hope you can subscribe and uh, uh let me know what you think and thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.